Today we talk about the turning effect of the wind and trim on a ship's uh, handling characteristics. So we'll start with the effect of wind in which we'll also talk about the windage area and what is the importance of it in terms of ship handling. So the wind has a, a turning effect on the vessel which depends of course on the turning lever. The turning lever is uh, the distance between the pivot point of the vessel and the windage point. So if you don't know what pivot point is, pivot point is the point about which a ship turns. It is normally located one third from the sh of the ship's length from the forward when the ship is going ahead. Uh, it is marked as the point P in the diagram below. The windage point is described as the center of effort of the wind and it is the centroid of the above water area that is exposed to the wind. The windage point is denoted by the letter W in the diagram. So if you can see here, you, you, this is basically showing the port aspect of the vessel in the first diagram and then the, of course the bird's eye view of the same ship in the second diagram where the wind is coming in from the port beam. So the wind is on the port beam in both the cases of course. And the, here the vessel is uh, stopped, the vessel is stopped, it's on even keel and uh, there is when we say even keel so we mean to say there is no trim and it's on loaded condition all right and you can see uh, how the turning lever is provided in terms of the location of the windage area windage point and the pivot point so in the first case here where the ship is stopped on even keel condition there is a negligible turning lever because the distance between the pivot point and the windage uh, point is not much so the turning lever is negligible in this case however uh, the effect so in this case the effect would be ship will turn slightly to the port under a very weak turning lever because the distance between the pivot point and the windage point is less and uh, till the p and w lie on the same vertical line so the pivot point and the windage point start to lie on the same vertical line till then the ship will turn to port Usually the ship in these such cases will lie with wind about two points forward of the beam. Alright, so two points forward of the port beam we are talking about. Now what happens if there is headway, that is vessel is going ahead, so what is the effect of wind? So like I told you before, when the ship is going ahead, the pivot point lies at about one third of the ship's length from the forward. So you can see here in this case, uh, the turning lever is increased. So you can see the distance between the pivot point and the windage point has increased in this case. So the turning lever is provided between the two points and it has increased. The wind is again on the port beam, it's the same situation. But in this case, the ship will turn into the wind violently. So the stern will be affected, the stern of the vessel will be canting to starboard and the bow will can to port towards the wind. So bold rudder and engine movements are required to control the swing in such cases. All right. Then what happens when with the effect of wind when the vessel is going astern? If we take the same situation where the wind is from the port beam. So again we can see here because the vessel is going astern now the pivot point is no longer forward it has now shifted aft because the pivot point is forward only when the ship is going ahead but when the ship is going astern the pivot point shifts aft so again in this case you can see the turning lever has sort of reduced because the pivot point has shifted aft but the stern now goes into the wind because the bow is now canting to starboard but because the turning lever or the force is not great because of a moderate turning lever so there is no violent turn into the wind or away from the wind then what is the effect of trim? Now in the above cases we only considered ships on even keel that had no trim. Now if the vessel has a stern trim, which is normally the case of vessels, as more of the bow is exposed to the wind, as you can see with the stern trim more of the bow is exposed to the wind, windage point shifts forward because it is the centroid of the above water uh, area of the ship's bow. So because more of the ship's bow or is exposed the windage point will shift forward which kind of reduces the turning lever of the vessel when making headway 
so when the vessel is making headway i told you and this is just to again and this is not drawn to scale or proportion but you can know but you know that when the vessel is going he headway or it's going ahead the pivot point shifts forward and uh, because in this case when the vessel having a stern trim the vintage point also shifts forward the turning lever reduces a lot so you can see the distance between the p and w has reduced so in the opposite case the turning lever will be increased when the vessel will make stern way why because when the vessel has to make stern way the same pivot point will be shifting aft it will shift aft when vessel going astern when vessel going astern in this case the pivot point will increase so if the vessel has a stern trim the turning lever is reduced when vessel going ahead but increased when the vessel going astern the opposite thing happens when the vessel is down by head when vessel is down by head more of the stern is exposed when the vessel is down by head that means vessel is trimmed by head the bow of the vessel is submerged and the stern is coming out so more of the stern gets exposed and the vintage point shifts aft turning lever is more than when the vessel is making headway because the vintage point is shifting aft and the pivot point is still forward but the turning lever will reduce when the vessel is making stern way because the pivot point will also shift aft and the vintage point is already aft so the turning lever gets reduced we have talked about vintage area but how do we calculate vintage area well the formula for calculation of vintage area is given as wind force per 1000 square meter which is calculated by the formula square of the velocity of the wind speed square of the velocity of the wind speed divided by 18 so that's how you calculate the vintage area so i thought i'll make this quick video on uh, the effect of wind and trim on the turning ef turning effect of the ships and we'll discuss the concept of vintage area as well so i'll see you soon with my next video guys bye